Hey guys, Tyler here. The uh, new Blue Sea 6 update brought something really cool. They made a custom browser for Odysseys. And at first when I saw this, I thought this was going to be kind of stupid. Like, what, you pick five maps and a restriction of towers? But it's way cooler. What you can do, I think this will serve as a good example, is basically chain five custom challenges together. Meaning you have to beat them back to back with a specific set of towers that you choose before the whole thing. So there's like tower restrictions overall, and I guess there's shared lives? But how I imagine it goes is you pick your crew, and because it's extreme mode, uh, for those who don't know Odyssey, is basically you pick the towers, and as soon as you place one of them, they're banned, I assume, from the whole Odyssey. So I have to kind of plan out all four challenges ahead of time, which seems like it could create some interesting setups. There's also slots for powers. I'm going to try not to use those. So we're looking at Infernal round 63, Bloody Puddles round 33, so camos, 42 uh, more camos on quad, and Sanctuary, new map, being round 4. Um, no monkey knowledge, half balloon speed on some of them, slower balloon speed on that one. But let's form our crew. We can have only these monkeys at these upgrade restrictions. So this one doesn't even really have much of the challenge of choosing your crew. It's all about when you use the towers. And are you going to save your towers for a future challenge or burn it on this one? So this is around 63. I believe it's half balloon speed and only 8,500. So this screams boomerang, especially because of half speed. We get more glaives and red hot rangs, especially. We could try it. Like, I might as well see if we can beat this with one tower. We want to be as conservative as possible with our tower count. So we'll have this uh, touching as close to the front as possible and close to the back as possible. It's half balloon speed, so I have to imagine this guy's decent here. Um, but it's probably not going to be enough. No, it's not. We need something that's a little better against ceramics. So we're still going to do this guy because let's be real, he's insanely good. But I got to figure out what I can burn. I'm going to try a ballistic missile sub because this is supposed to be good against ceramics. Um, I'm not going to get full map range, am I? Let me just do twin guns instead. Yeah, this doesn't have full map coverage. Let's have this on strong. Maybe this will still help a little. No, it's not so good when you can't hit it right in the beginning. What if... Okay, here's a different idea. What if I go for this with the advanced intel? Have this on strong and then get the boomerang and maybe try to afford 402 over time? Yeah, I mean, we're a lot strong already, and Red Hot Rang should clean things up. Yeah, yeah, that's looking really good now. I'm not going to waste any more towers. These two should be handy enough. One challenge down, but now again, we have fewer towers to take on the next challenges. That's what I like about this. It's actually unique. Five out of seven crew remaining. But the crew going away is only a hallmark of Extreme Odysseys, which is what I'll be playing for the most part. Extreme Odysseys are really interesting. When they came out, I was still on my big break from balloons, but I did come back to play it just to see what it was like, and I thought it was very interesting, but too easy. I remember just having way too easy of a time on it, I'm like, uh, why bother? But this, now that their custom challenges are way more interesting. So it's round 33, but they're half-speed balloons, right? So can I just get a dartling with camo? Is that restricted? It's not. I think I'll just do Dartling Gunner here, hit both paths. I'm pretty sure my targeting will be fast enough. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but it should be fine. Faster Barrel Spin's pretty big. Maybe Faster Swivel? Or Focused Firing? I think I want Faster Swivel. Yeah. And Powerful Darts. And then I'll see if I can beat it with just this. I'll take it nice and slow, just kind of go back and forth. The Yellow Bloons are, of course, the scary part. Oh, but they're not too bad right now. Oh, except when we miss. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's not too bad now. Just don't miss too much. Actually, it's really not that bad. I'm panicking over nothing. I think we can get through this with one tower. Yo, ultimate goals? Beat this whole Odyssey with towers left over. Oh, son of a... We're missing too much. We're missing way too much. Get it? Come on, it's the last yellow. Do I restart from here or the very beginning? Oh, just from here. Okay. Let's try the other dartling gun. I have to get camo. I have to get focus firing, laser shock. I can't afford laser can, so faster barrel spin. Honestly, this might not be that bad. Like, I'm worried about the slow rotation for nothing. 
Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, we get through this pretty quickly. Okay. It's nice that it's forgiving, because honestly, it would be a little bit tedious if I lost this and had to do over the first one again, even though I knew how to do it. Plus, that would just be like more annoying for challenges that may require a little bit more luck. So this is this is nice. Very simple way to do it. Next up, round 42 on quad. This is a really cool feature. I, I bet there gets to be some really interesting challenges that only benefit because of it being an odyssey. Only taking advantage of the shared towers between challenges and the shared lives. This one does not take advantage of shared lives, but still. So round 42, it's a regrowing camel round. Here's the thing. After I beat this, I have only round four left. How far hard is round four, really? What I'm thinking is if I could just use these three in conjunction to beat 42, I'm pretty happy because I'm pretty sure Sniper Monkey is going to beat round four. So, 10,000. The camos worry me the most because I have only one tower with real camo detection unless if this could... De it actually might decamelize. Am I going to do that? Am I going to do one of those balloon tonium reactors with airburst? I could try that. Why not? And then get a little ninja over here. Oh, I can get Seeking Shuriken. That's huge. I'll just do double shot because then I could get a Druid. Here's how I'd like to do it. I'm going to put the Druid up here. It's complicated. Why? I have 1520. Can I afford? Can I afford this? 950. 1300. 1550. Son of a bitch. Wait, it's fine though. We can definitely afford this. We get money. They're in the rounds. Yeah, one snipe those. One shot them. Yeah, the reactors. No, we leaked like five lives. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I have a feeling this sub thing... I don't see why it wouldn't work, but it's just... It's not quite... It's just having one and a half things of camo detection is just unfortunate. Could I have saved the camo detecting tower? I mean, I guess I could have saved Dartling for this. Oh, well. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't bite me. We're gonna again try with a little bit different micro. Here's how it's gonna go then. I'm gonna leave this on first in the beginning. And then I'm going to have it be submerged when camos come. Honestly, I mean, the camos are just the hard part. There's no denying it. The camos are going to be really, 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 really bad for us. Let's get caltrops here. All right, that's a lit... Nope. I feel like I might have to restart the whole thing. Unless... Here's a different idea. Let's go for a balloon jitsu ninja. Instead of just the third tier. And then, that means I probably can't get a reactor sub, but that's okay. It's just a shame, right? Sniper doesn't have camo. I could get a reactor, or I could just have Submergent Sport. Submergent Sport and a one-shot druid. So here's what I'm thinking. This ninja can solo any camo rainbows that come by here, and the ones that come by this path can be one-shot by the druid? Oh, but here's the thing. <laughs> Regular balloons that come by here are gonna really suck. Well, let's try this, and then this, and then we'll just hope we're decent. Like, the anti-rigger is at least nice. We do one-shot some stuff, so it's not it's not too bad. Oh, no! Oh, come on. Well, let's try this again. Maybe just don't unsubmerge the dude? I'm gonna have to beat this with Dartling Gun, I swear. So far, so good. Come on! Those ninja shots. Okay, the ninja needs to have Seeking Shuriken be off. So it doesn't snipe anything the druid should be hitting. This time I got no, um, Seeking Shurikens on the ninja. Just so we don't get any weird snipes from across the map. Maybe? Possibly? Nope. Alright, one more dumb idea, and then I'm out of dumb ideas. We're gonna put this guy here. It's gonna be a 3-0-2. And I'm gonna just do some submerge timing to get the camo rainbows that come by through here. Just don't miss those and you're golden. Um, let's get Heart of Oak if I can help it. Just again, do not miss those camos. There we go, there we go. There we go. And the ninja can handle the rest. Just anything that comes from the top. Oh, there we go. We beat the challenge. Certainly one way to do it. I actually thought it was going to be way more micro than it was, but uh, happy to say that it wasn't. And we got round four remaining, but it's $6,000 to do it, and we saved this a sniper. I swear if I, like, didn't read the fact that it's round four with only camo, I would be <laughs> very disappointed in myself. But yeah, it's on the new map. 
Uh, it's a cool looking new map. I'm probably not going to do a video on anything, but let's just get our sniper and let's beat the hardest round in the game. It's, uh, it's basically Infernal on crack. And with that, we can beat it. Maybe there's some universes where it's actually hard to beat round four. You, because you used the sniper earlier or some other reason, but we did it. And we beat the Odyssey. <laughs> time taken, a minute 51. Speedrun time or anyone? Someone gonna make a speedrun Odyssey? It was a cool one. I enjoyed it. Let's, uh, let's check out another one. Have some fun with these.